slightly later than billed now on BBC Three, Peter can't deal with Chris's huge revelation in the first of a Family Guy double. It seems today that all you see is violence in movies and sex on TV. But where are those good old-fashioned values on which we used to rely? And cry. He's a family guy. Look, Mac, I'm that pretty dark hat figure skater with the horse teeth. You know, the one who got what she had coming. But you'll never have to worry about that. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. You know, Dad, I just realized something. Your name's Peter. <laughs> You're right, it is. Peter. <laughs> Fancy more Family Guy? Then stay right where you are. We're back with the Griffins next. Some guys just don't seem to know how to live with women. So I like to think that I run the women in my life purely because they're women. I reckon she should do the cleaning then, because it's a female's job. And their girlfriends just can't take it anymore. It's like you just don't listen to anything I'm saying. I can't be bothered to be treated like an idiot. No, their other halves are sending them off to live with three <laughs> other women they've never even met. Whoa, look at the size of that mama. I can sort out mad horses, I can sort out him. The new ladies in their lives will attempt to transform these bad boyfriends into perfect partners. How to Live with Women, Monday at 9 on BBC Three. In these gloomy times, thank Russell there's some good news. The government are giving poor people free cheese. I've lost count of the amount of times I've seen a homeless guy go, well, mate, spare any cheddar. The award for slowest chair theft ever goes to... The secure funding base at the University. I also don't think these proposals are fair. Join Russell for his unique blend of stand-up, weird news stories and special guests. Incredible! The new series of Russell Howard's Good News, coming soon on BBC Three. Now on BBC Three, Peter Griffin gets a second chance at life in More Family Guy. Next, there's more of the surreal, courtesy of a double bill of the Smiths. And later, don't miss another chance to see the nail-biting series finale of Being Human. It seems today that all you see is violence in movies and sex on TV. But where are those good old-fashioned values on which we used to rely? And cry. He's a family guy. A tragic accident today in the North Providence area. A family of four lost their lives when their minivan swerved off the road and into a ravine, exploding on impact. Do you find this funny, Tom? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I was remembering I, I accidentally put my shirt on inside out this morning. <laughs> it, it's fine now, though. So, 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 what, what were you saying about a, 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 a fashion show? Chris, turn the TV off. We gotta find an anniversary gift for Mom and Dad. Don't look! We're shopping! We're shopping! Happy anniversary, Lois. This is the most romantic gift you've ever given me. How did you ever put all of this together? Well, I had a little help from a very special friend. I like animals. Uh-huh. Because they're like people, just little furry people. Yeah. Um, hey, you ever go on the Internet? 
They got some cool stuff there on that internet. Oh, yeah, I bought these shoes from a company on the internet because they don't test on animals. Wow. <sighs> you know, animals never have war. War is an invention of mankind. What the hell are you talking about? Animals fight all the time. Not with nuclear arms. You can't hug your children with nuclear arms. Check, please. Family Guy's back tomorrow from 5 past 12. Keep it three next tonight for Back to Back American Dad. He's a creation, rejected by the man who made him. He's the creator, who fears his creation. He is Victor Frankenstein. She's Victor's bride, whose biggest day is about to become her darkest. Frankenstein's Wedding, live in Leeds, a live music drama, Saturday at 8 on BBC Three. If you're a big fan of being human, you won't want to miss our spin-off drama, Becoming Human, next Sunday at 9 on BBC Three. Hello, I'm Matt. One story is dominating news headlines everywhere today. Japan's worst crisis since World War II. That's what the country's prime minister has called the earthquake. It's struggling to cope with the devastation and potential nuclear emergency. Experts are trying to stop a second explosion at one power plant. An alert's been raised at another. Thousands have been evacuated and there's been power cuts too. New videos emerged of the moment the tsunami hit the coast. Cars, boats and buildings were swept away. Police warned the death toll could reach 10,000 in one area alone. There's been an international rescue response. A UK team's arrived there to help out. 12,000 have been rescued so far. People have been warned to brace themselves for aftershocks. So far, there are no confirmed British deaths, although some UK citizens remain unaccounted for. For all the latest from Japan, log on to bbc.co.uk slash japanquake. OK, that's it. I'm back just after midnight. Stay with three now for American Dad. It's not just about proving it to yourself. It's make or break time. Nigel and Louise, Arlene and Cisco return to So You Think You Can Dance on BBC One and BBC One HD. Another chance to see the final being human next tonight. First on BBC Three and slightly later than Build, it's a double bill of American Dad. Good morning, USA. I got a feeling that it's going to be a wonderful day. The sun in the sky has a smile on his face and he's shining a salute to the American race. Okay, Frank, let's see how well you know your buddy Dennis. What is his favorite wattage of light bulb? 75? Ooh, sorry. The answer is 60. 75? What the hell? That clip was provided by the fun new game show Best Buddies.